you're feeling slightly overwhelmed at the moment, aren't you? It's okay, I can tell. There's this massive, massive shift from year 11 to year 12. The workload has increased massively. And even though people told you it would increase, you didn't believe them. But it had. And just like, I know there's less subjects, but the workload for each subject is massive. And things are being thrown at you fast and hard. And loads and loads of new information. And you've got to be expected to do independent study. And you've got free periods. And maybe you're having too much coffee in your free periods. And there are new relationships going on. New friendship groups being formed in sixth form. With people coming in. People going out of the sixth form. People going to college. Maybe you've moved schools. Maybe you're starting a new romantic relationship which takes a lot of time and energy. Maybe you started a new job or driving lessons or volunteering or the extended project to put on your UCAS application. I know you're feeling overwhelmed because everyone is feeling overwhelmed at this time of year 12. It is a really, really hard time for you. So with half term coming up, I don't want you to work over half term. Now I know I know your teachers are going to be like bombarding you with like coursework or like homework, a um, little bit to do with this, but I don't want you to work over half term. Homework is to be done in homework time, half term I want you to use for like getting on top of things. So what I really mean by getting on top of things is getting yourself sorted, getting yourself organised for starting next half term, kind of like renewed, afresh, ready to go. So getting the timetable sorted so that the homework that your teacher gives you has a space. There is an hour to do that homework in and then an hour to do independent study for that subject. Because every single hour you see your teacher in class, it is expected that you do another hour of independent study. And <clears throat> potentially homework as well. So getting a timetable sorted. Now on this timetable it is really really important that you make time for yourself in there. I know you're going to tell me that you don't have time, that you have too much stuff going on, that you're too stressed to sit down and think about this but it is really really important that you do sit down and think about this. I want you to schedule in some time to do some exercise. Yep. Not because I want you to get fit or I want you to lose weight or anything like that, but it's really, really good for your stress levels. Like, so good for your stress levels. And it doesn't have to be, like, taking up an aerobics class or, like, going to a spinning class or playing, like, loads and loads of football at the weekend. It can be something as simple as twice a week you walk home from school. Instead of getting the bus, walk home from school. That's it. It can be as simple as that. And, you know, that could just be like an extra 10 minutes out of your day, which I know you feel like you have to spend studying, but you don't. It's really, really important that you take this time for yourself. And, you know, whether it's 10 minutes a day, like five days a week, or 10 minutes a day twice a week, or half an hour once a week, as little exercise as you can get in there, or that doesn't sound right, that doesn't sound right, as much exercise as you feel you can fit in there is important. Even if it's only a little bit, it's going to do massive amounts of your stress levels. And you can like multitask while you're exercising. So, um, what I like to do is walk, walk in to and from school instead of getting in the car. It takes me a bit longer, I have less time to make videos, less time to write books for you, but I walk to and from school. But I don't just walk listen to audiobooks at the same time. So I can be kind of like, you know, doing my extended reading, reading around the subjects, um, um, researching things, listening to podcasts about some new stuff that's going on, um, reading books that I enjoy, reading books that I enjoy while doing something else. So this exercising, this walking, this whatever it is that I'm making you do, doesn't just have to be time spent just doing that because you need to tell yourself you enjoy and I know I pressured you to do this throughout the whole of year 11 but reading is really really good especially now we're in year 12 when the exam questions are going to get longer they're going to get more complicated the words are getting more complicated um and if you don't read a lot if your reading age isn't you know the same as your actual age then you're going to struggle in exams and the easiest, easiest way to fix this is just by reading for 15 minutes a day. Now I know, 
I know I'm adding another massive thing in there that you want to spend time doing something else like your homework for 15 minutes a day it could just be as simple as taking a book to bed with you um book and a cup of tea just sitting there 15 minutes before bed reading now I know loads of you read before bed anyway except you're reading Facebook or Twitter or Snapchats um and I want you to stop doing that okay what I want you to do is take your phone and your charger and put them downstairs just leave them downstairs this is I know this is going to be the hardest thing what I'm asking you to do but it's really going to improve your sleep it really really is going to improve your sleep I promise because we're getting rid of the, the nasty blue light which makes your brain go all fiery before bed which means you can't turn off because you're busy thinking about what so-and-so said to so-and-so or this video that you saw where you're thinking about this just you need you need that gap between doing stuff and sleeping which reading a book with a cup of tea in bed will provide you with so leave your phone downstairs um and then like you're not going to get disturbed in the middle of the night temptation to check in the middle of the night isn't there i know some of you are going to say that you need it for your alarm by an alarm clock okay they're really really cheap like a couple of quid okay um it is important to leave your phone downstairs and then when you start working out like a list of priorities we need to start thinking about important stuff and urgent stuff what is urgent and important and what is not urgent and not important what do you just like doing start prioritizing things and this will really really help you when you get back to school um next half term so when we go back to school next half term we're going to be doing exercise we're going to be sleeping better we're going to be reading or listening to books more we're going to have a timetable so that all of this stuff fits in we're not going to get a bit of homework and not know how to fit it in because it's all scheduled in there and then you are going to be able to prioritize different bits of work so that is what I would like you to do over half term I don't want you to do any actual work over half term I would like you to get your life sorted.